and today we are going to discuss few points on the topic ecology what is the ecology what are its characteristics what are its features and what all constitute as ecology ecology the term is made up of two greek terms oikos and logos oikos means house and logos means study so ecology is the interaction organism and the environment and it also the interaction with organism between organisms now what are the levels of ecological organization there are the four different levels of ecological organization organism population community and organisms group of individuals constitute organisms organisms a group of organisms the different organisms like uh, animals human this all constitute population like we lives in a human population the next is community population a great population a group population in a given area is known as community and community comprises of only biotic organisms like living organisms so a different term find is ecosystem ecosystem consists of two components biotic and abiotic biotic is living organism or living components in uh, of our surrounding and abiotic are non living or the other factors which affect our day to day life like temperature water light pressure salinity etc now from where is all organism population community and ecosystem comes from this all comes from different habitat from different places from different uh, vegetation from different flora and fauna so one term is bio what bio is it says is in the it is a large vegetal unit that is delimited by a specific climatic zone that has a particular major vegetation zone that has its associated fauna for example temperate deciduous forest or tropical rain forest that has a huge and a major vegetation zone now we will discuss about habitat and the living what is habitat that we all live in a house a shelter we all need it so habitat is where an organism or um, uh, other uh, population lives so habitat is a specific place or a locality that are delimited by a combination of factors physical features and barriers that a community resides so the when the all community are uh, affected by one another and we all play a major role in food chain and food web so like for example corn and desert when we discuss about corn and desert we take corn from the macro organism to the large organism and then we talk about the macro system the plant grows like cactus to camels and some uh, animals also like when we discuss about neck or ecological neck so neck is a specific part of habitat occupied by individuals of a species individuals of a species that depends on availability of food or depends upon the time of captivity that all the dependent on a certain habitat a specific part of habitat so with the favorable state with the favorable climate that all living organism depends from that habitat so like water bug and water boatman water bug and water boatman that all live in a pond but water bug the former one is breeding bird and the latter one water boatman is the scavenger a uh, very important point to note over here is that both the organisms 
lives in the same cellular, but it has different needs. Thus, every organism, every two different organism, does not have same needs. They will both have different needs. Now, considering about the biotic factors, let's talk about the abiotic factors. So, major abiotic components or factors are temperature, light, and water. So, let's uh, talk brief about temperature. Like, how temperature affects our life? So, temperature is very essential, plays a very essential role in our life. Like, it affects many vital activities like metabolism, reproduction, and even this in the biosphere. The metabolism are also affected like enzymes that are temperature sensitive. Temperature from the coolest to the uh, most hottest, it all depends, uh, all play a major role in the vital activity of all the organisms. Like, uh, you may take examples like uh, organisms surviving at zero degrees C in polar regions or high altitude to the organisms that survive above 20 degrees C in the deserts or uh, at the hot climate. So, according to uh, Brigham's rule, the organism that lives in the colder regions has a uh, uh, low uh, activity, then the, uh, has a larger activity than the organisms live in the warmer region. According to Jordan's rule, the organisms that live in the, uh, the aquatic and the uh, organisms that live on the water have a uh, very uh, voice of versa role. Like they uh, lower the vertebrae, that means they have the uh, higher the temperature. So, likewise, it can be a very major role in all the day to day activities. And because of that, how organisms adapt this temperature? So, there are two types of organisms who adapt this temperature for their survival. One is urethrums and the other is stenotherms. So, urethrums are the organisms who survive from the hottest to coolest regions in, a, uh, in the biosphere. Like the organisms which survive the coolest regions, they are termed as cold urethrums. And the organisms that survive at normal temperature, they are termed as stenotherms. Likewise, Light also plays a very essential role. It influences growth, pigmentation, migration, and reproduction. Light depends on the intensity and the duration of light. So, depending on the diet, organisms are categorized on the three ways photoacids, phototropism, and photokinesis. Photoacids is termed as when the organism movement is towards the source of light or away from the source of light, they are termed as photoaxis. Phototropism is the growth or the orientation of the organism towards the source of light or away from the source of light are termed as phototropism. And when the organism locomotion is towards the source of light or the away from the source of light is termed as photokinesis. Here, a very important point is to be noted that locomotion organism, the locomotion in the organism, that is the mobile cell of the mobile organism, that is towards the intensity of the light. Higher the intensity, steady will be the organism. And lower will, the, uh, lower will be the intensity, lower will be the speed in the organism or lower will be the locomotion. Now, the third and also the most important is water. Water is essential for every uh, organism and it is very essential for the survival. We all know that three by four parts of the land are covered by water and it is the main agent in pedogenesis. What is pedogenesis? It is soil formation. So, it also helps in soil formation and it also helps in soil transformation from one place to another. So it makes a uh, land fertile and it makes the soil, uh, including the soil fertility. Now, water can hide the water flows moderately 
and uh, what Life, most survival, and for full. By this point, I guess I made myself clear. So thank you for watching my video.